Hello, welcome back to Brain Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, I will try to answer this puzzle. So basically, how to create something like this. Uh, if you look at it closely, it's basically a cube with uh, something to do with the edge. Okay, so... Yeah, so it's the answer is actually pretty simple. So if we start with a cube, a cube have edge, and maybe I should subdivide this a little bit more so we have more edge so we have a way a couple of ways we can deal with edge and the edge can be manipulated using geometry nodes and also using modifier so when it comes to edge there is mark seam which is related to UV we don't, we're not gonna touch that today there is mark sharp and there is also edge crease so these two are really interesting crease and sharp let's take a look at sharp first first I will select like a, a loop edge loop you can manually select the edge like this or you can uh, option click on Mac option click and shift option click so you can have like this edge loop selected and then you can mark uh, let's try mark sharp first so now it's marked as sharp. Uh, we're gonna deal with edge crease later. So this is sharp. So we can use modifier, right? With the edge split based on sharp edges. So now the edge is actually being cut here. If you look at it using smooth, um, it's being cut at the edge angle. If I turn this off, it's only cutting at the sharp edge okay that's uh if we are using modifier all right if we are using geometry nodes it's actually basically the same thing edge split and we can turn off edge angle we can turn on sharp edges we don't have smooth here but we can i believe we can subdivide with some Oh yeah, there is subdivide using creases here. Okay, so keep in mind. So let's save this very quickly. Let's call it as geometry nodes, edge, crease, and sharp. Um, so we cut the edge here, but we can't really see it. Maybe we just smooth it smooth it a couple of times so we have this we can use solidify this guy is the default cube and it's not it's not smooth so we need to uh, maybe attribute fill with boolean turn on shade smooth so this is kind of a uh, something you can create very quickly so you can go back in Select the edge loop here, edge, mark, sharp. So you have another cut. Pretty interesting. So let's save this. Another thing. So let's, uh, first of all, this is GM crease, or actually sharp. It's because we are making a cut, sharp cut. Let's make another cube and then go to edit mode, subdivide, subdivide. This time I want to select just the edge here. All right. And then edge mark seam, actually edge crease. And with the crease, we can drag our mouse. There's also this control, but I just want to make it like 100% creased. So this one have a crease. Now we can use geometry nodes. And we can use the crease to actually scatter objects along the edge. Mesh to curve. <clears throat> Uh, 
when we are using mesh to curve, right? We are turning every edge into curve. However, if we use the creased, because we know some edge have creased and it's uh, it's marked by attributes actually by spreadsheet. So if you look at the edge, actually, okay, here there's creased. So no, with that in mind, we can now turn this into, it's already a curve, so we can resample. Let's say we, for each curve, we want to have like five instance of something, maybe like a cube. So let's quickly create a cube. Make this really small, something like that. And we want to instance some points there. Let's call this instance box of instance cube. Get our second object. There. This is what I want to show you. It's pretty cool because at this point you can you can do fancy stuff like using this as a boolean for our original object. So this is basically how I created this. This is like random boxes cutting itself and turning it into this kind of result. We need to be careful. Uh, let's hide this. We need to be careful with the boolean and this because it might create too, too many objects. We can, you can increase this number. First, I also want to have this randomized scale. So this is cool. Uh, you can use the count, how many cube you want, or you can use length. Length can be kind of dangerous if you put too much, but it also can be really useful. Right. You can have another cube and really do something interesting here. Um, let me let me show you first with boolean. Yeah. This is one of the result. So you can perhaps do things like this. working around the edge it's kind of like a grid as well so it's it's really handy if you want to add details on some areas but still keeping it as a grid it's creased there let's turn on graffiti so this is GM using the cut edge sharp cut this is gm using edge crease boolean so two different concept but you can kind of mix and match together i keep it separate for now this guy okay the same same uh, this is different cube but we can have different of course have different edge so i can select all the edge I can edge crease everything which will give us kind of like a building like a waffle you can also kind of randomly doing it okay let's me let me try another cube is simple with a cube um, so I want to have more subdivision Just like that and assign the same geometry nodes command select this guy and select this guy and command L link copy modifier oops select this and select this copy modifier but this guy doesn't have edge crease so select random 
you can randomize the seed you can control the selection ratio okay sometimes you get face because it's a full like edge around around it now do the crease there we go it's like magic <laughs> because you can yeah we are doing it kind of a little bit of manual work here with the selections but you can do this multiple time and you have certain variations the good thing about manual of course you can use randomize like uh, maybe if you use fair choke and then just randomize the crease attribute you can do that but manual works is also kind of uh, still nice to add like uh, your own touch you know so you can you can really select the parts to it where you want to have these details and then you just marked it there right it works I make it smaller now I will have more details but it's gonna take a bit longer there but you have interesting details all of a sudden I can turn on the shadow it looks nice so this might be a way you can kind of make like a building or like randomize the constructed kind of building I just uh, make changes to the scale which will rescale the cube and it takes so much longer I think this boolean and we need to be careful with this node it's gonna take a while if not careful make sh uh, try using self intersection and hole tolerant sometimes it works whoops okay yeah look we have result but it's taking too long so maybe make this small like 6 and be careful with this resample also maybe this should be smaller 0.1 scaling the instance cube and assigning it so it's along the edge so we have the grid so it's really nice because yeah you can also subdivide maybe beforehand I wonder if that's gonna work subdivision surface we have a lot of new thing there like mass subdivide and mass curve subdivide so now I'm subdividing the cube into sphere and now of course it disappear but we can use this same process mesh to curve resemble the curve and it disappear okay it's got subdivided self intersection on and off no different hole tolerant yeah no idea but let's say you are happy with one result you can duplicate this and then randomize the seed that's also going to give a different result slightly different in this case so maybe the only way I, I think you can try randomize the crease somewhere mesh to okay we can randomize this might work or it might not work if we see yeah okay that's what I mean maybe boolean type so I don't know it's uh, the crease here
Mm, okay, because it's we already chain, we already use point instant, so we can't see the crease. But if we if we pipe this out there, we have this value, crease value, that we can randomize. And we should be boolean, zero and one. Now, if we plug this in, it's random. <coughs> it's randomizing the crease for each object, and yeah, cool. Now we actually have something. All right, so I think that's pretty much what I want to show you today. It's a quite interesting setup, very simple. Hopefully, you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.